choices. We make them all the time, and often we don't know how far reaching the consequences are going to be. For instance, this banana peel. Two years ago, I would have not thought twice of what to do with it. Garbage. But then, I made a choice about what to do for my Girl Scouts Journey Award and changed what hundreds of people do with their banana peels, starting with me. All because I learned that banana peels are not garbage, but gold. I could spend my time today talking about sustainability, fertilizers, and landfills, but there are other people that can do that. I want to talk about the importance of soil, good soil, that has been properly fed with what many may consider waste, and the little steps you can do, and people do do, to make a change in the world. On my studies on soil, I came across a process called composting, which is taking leaves and food waste and letting it naturally decompose into a natural fertilizer that, for the plants. When these things aren't composted, they go to the landfills and produce greenhouse gases. It seemed too good to be true. Could composting really lessen the amount of greenhouse gases in our environment? I could put all this stuff in a bin, turn it a couple times, and have something that costs a lot more in the store. I knew it wasn't a scam, so I tried myself. Some leaves plus food waste plus time equals some of the best plant food that money never bought. It was like a revelation. If I didn't know about it, I wondered, who else didn't know about it? How could I get the word out? I came across an association, Sustainable Princeton, and met my mentor, Mrs. Fischenbaum. Through her, I learned a lot about composting and how many families turn their waste into treasure or black gold. So for my Girl Scouts Gold Award, I set a goal to get 10 families to start composting. I set up boots. I had basic flyers, posters, and, ship and shipping pallets. That's the model of the shipping pallets. And since they were widely available and recyclable. And I got over hundreds of people signed up, including the Princeton YMCA, where the kids painted the shipping pallets, and we made shipping bins and had lessons for kids of all different ages, as well as the Windsor Montessori, where we installed earth machines, and the kids had a curriculum, a week-long curriculum about composting and earthworms. I was unstoppable. I really started to compost in my backyard, involving my neighbors and the community, until I was informed it was illegal. <laughs> illegal. Why in my neighborhood was it illegal, I thought. But then it struck to me. Maybe this is why people don't compost. Maybe they have composting restrictions. So I put my thinking cap on. During my gold award, I had taken a group of Montessori kids to the Cherry Grove Farm, a local sustainable farm that produces cheese. The whole time I was there, I thought, how cool would it be if the farm could start composting? But since they produce cheese, this was impossible for them. This is when I came up with a unique solution. The farm wanted to compost, but didn't have any food waste. People like me had food waste, but had composting restrictions. Working together, priceless. So I took my proposal to the Cherry Grove Farm, and they were gracious enough to accept my ideas, and we were able to start community-wide composting. In many ways, this is a small step, but this is a big step thinking out of the box, and the possibilities are endless. Composting takes food waste out of landfills in where they do nothing but take up space and produce greenhouse gases and puts it to use, allowing it to turn into a fertilizer that helps plants grow. Many associations are starting to think out of the box when it comes to food waste. And the whole point is, anyone can do it at any scale in many ways. For example, Households, basic households can compost in their backyards using shipping pallets like these. They're free and recyclable, so many households can do that. Also, households can or just use a simple plastic bin to compost in their backyard. Communities can come together and compost together. 
For example, the Cherry Grove Farm at Lawrenceville is promoting community-wide composting where people bring their trash every week and put it in the bin and so composting can be done at a larger scale. Brooklyn and New York is start, uh, starting to start community-wide composting. Besides communities, townships can also make a difference in composting. Princeton is promoting curbside composting where they collect their food waste every, every week and it can be done at a larger scale in Wilmington. And they've won a grant of $20,000. San Francisco reduces 80% of its waste and recycles 80% of its waste and plans on going to 100% because they've realized that basically anything is recyclable. States like Oregon, Colorado, and Washington have made composting mandatory. Places nearby us, for example, Hyatt and Princeton, is, are, is also starting to take a step towards recycling and composting, and they save $10,000 a year through composting. Microsoft, which is a big company, reduces 82% of its waste through composting and other recycling methods. So the whole point is, anyone can make a difference. You don't have to be a big you don't have to be a big association. You yourself can make a difference. So next time you have your banana peel, what are you going to do with it? <laughs>